Hi Recovery Girls, Misty here. Um, I'm getting ready to go into my office at home and pay bills. I've got a lot to do today, um, but the faucet has been turned on this morning and I'm having trouble turning it off. So um, I've been crying quite a bit this morning. Just um, It's the last week of school and I'm not crying because all the kids are going to be home for the summer. I'm um, crying because it's my senior son's last week of school. So I was driving to CrossFit this morning <clears throat> and just became very aware that it's his last, my last Monday morning to kiss him off, you know, on his way to school and to sit and have breakfast together and or sit in the um, library here and talk. Um, before he goes off to school. So we had a real sweet time this morning. And then I just got really sad. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know I would feel that. So I cried all the way through CrossFit and I'm still teary and you know just feeling it. So I you know I'm at this point and I I know moms get here. I've heard rumor that moms actually survive this. And that, um, you know, life continues forward, but it's, uh, when it's your child, it's a different, it's a different ball game. So, um, I was trying to describe it to a couple friends. They were so kind and asking about how I'm doing and I can't, I can't put words on it. And I think that, um, there's just, it's the end of an era. So I was realizing it's kind of like when you're trying to describe to someone what it's going to be like to become a mother and the kind of love you're going to have for your baby and your child and what motherhood is like. You can't really describe it very well. There's no, it's just, ugh, you know, you just have to go through it to know. And so here we are. That's kind of how I feel about this shift. Um, I'd heard about it too, and I guess I couldn't know until I got here. So it is evoking so much gratitude in my heart. I am oozing just gratitude, love for my son. I, I love that boy. He's amazing, and we're connected, and I'm so grateful for that. And so part of what we know in recovery is just to feel our feelings and grieve when we need to and just really give thanks just really treasure and give thanks um, whenever we can so I'm doing a lot of that today as I am also writing um, addresses on the envelopes for his graduation announcements and his open house invitations so I pray for you whatever you're facing today that you just let yourself feel feel your feelings and grieve what you need to and give thanks where you can and appreciate each moment in this this life we get one trip through and I don't want to miss it so I'm just gonna soak it all in and I pray blessing on you today stay the course in recovery I'll be on it too <laughs>